So this right here is not the Hilux Conquest. This is the updated Hilux G. And as you can see, it looks a bit different now compared to before. It also gets new features and a price increase. In this video, we'll do a full walk around of this update. We'll talk about the differences between this and the previous Hilux G. Yeah, so is it still worth the money? Let's find out. Okay, so like I said before, the front fascia of the new Hilux G is now identical to the Hilux Conquest. It now gets this flat back grille which extends all the way to the bottom of the bumper. It gets this chrome accent over here. The headlights are now full LEDs and they're also narrower, like on the Hilux Conquest. The previous Hilux G had halogen headlamps. This gets LED fog lamps, the same as the previous Hilux G, but it's now housed in this plastic housing, which extends all the way towards these plastic fender moldings, which you only used to get on the Hilux Conquest. These fender moldings make the Hilux look wider and more aggressive. Uh, this also now gets 18 inch wheels. That's an inch bigger than the previous Hilux G, uh, which only got 17s. They're wrapped in 265-60 series Bridgestone Dueler Highway Terrain tires. Over here you get power folding side mirrors, which are finished in chrome. Also, they also get repeaters. Um, chrome finished door openers. This now gets a smart locking system. On the previous Hilux G, you had to get the key out of your pocket and press the button to lock or unlock the vehicle. This time you don't have to get the key out of your pocket. You only have to press this button over here to lock and, to lock and unlock the vehicle. Down here you get side steps. You don't get roof rails. This gets drum brakes at the back, like the previous Hilux G. And you still get leaf springs at the back. Okay, so under the hood is still the same 2.4 liter four cylinder diesel engine that puts out 148 horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. Now, according to the spec sheet, this can do zero to 100 kph in a whopping 13.2 seconds. Now that is not quick, but you're not gonna be doing drag races with this anyway, so I think that's okay. The engine is coupled to a six speed automatic transmission. There's also a six speed manual variant. Okay, so here at the back, it now gets the Conquest's LED tail lamps, and this now gets an assisted lift gate. So you can lift it with two fingers, easily. This also gets a bed liner as standard. The Conquest has more than enough space for our sponsor for this video. Introducing the Atosport Mobility Scooter. The world's most innovative mobility scooter. It folds into a small suitcase size and it has wheels so you can move it around like a trolley. It separates into two parts. It has leather seats and grips. An illuminated LCD dashboard. Enhanced lighting for extra visibility. You can install optional armrests. It's perfect for seniors as it's easy to lift and unfolds in seconds. It has a maximum speed of 10 kph, shock absorbing flat free tires, high ground clearance, advanced braking system, be free to travel anywhere, land, sea or air. It has 20 kilometers of continuous driving range. Engineered with flair, designed with passion for performance. Be active, be free, be yourself. Atho Sport, moving life. Okay, so we're now inside the Toyota Hilux G, and 
Um, the dashboard now is the same as the Hilux Conquest. You get the same 9 inch infotainment screen, which now looks better integrated. So this gets a reverse camera. You can see. But you don't get active guidelines. You got dual zone climate control over here. You got physical buttons and knobs for adjusting the temperature and the fan speed. Also, one thing that's new on the Hilux G is that it now gets a start-stop button over here. Previously, you had to put the key in the ignition and turn it to start the engine. And that's a pretty major upgrade. The speakers have been updated. Um, the steering wheel is leather wrapped. You get buttons here for your infotainment screen and also for your instrument cluster. The instrument cluster is the same, which I don't really mind. Uh, the entire dashboard is still made of hard plastic, the same as the Conquest. And you still get dual glove boxes over here, one on top and one at the bottom. The one at the top has an air vent for cooling drinks. Now this is not dampened and that's okay for this price. You got two cup holders over here, a place to store your phone. You have one USB port over here, one 12 volt outlet, um, a manual handbrake. The seats are still covered in fabric. Now this gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is practically standard in the segment. Um, yeah, that's it. You get automatic headlamps. Here's the back seat. It's the same as the previous Hilux G. You don't get any air convents over here. No USB ports. Yeah, you basically don't get any toys except for this center armrest with two cup holders. Okay, so that's the new Hilux G. Now, Toyota changed a lot on this update, and as usual, when Toyota updates the Hilux, they don't make big announcements about it. So basically, you get these updated LED headlamps, which are a pretty major upgrade. You get the updated front fascia, you get these fender moldings over here, you get, you get bigger 18-inch wheels, uh, you get a smart locking system, the updated infotainment screen, and a push-start button. Now, that's a lot of upgrades, but it's also a significant price increase. The new Hilux G now sells for 1,460,000 pesos. Uh, that's significantly higher than the previous Hilux G, and it's just 30,000 pesos less than the Ranger Sport 4x2. And that one comes with leather seats and a more modern looking interior. Yeah, so if you want a Toyota, this is a pretty good pickup. Just know that at the price, the competition has leveled up quite a bit. Anyway, what do you think? Are the upgrades worth the extra money? Type your answers in the comments below.